Imagine you're trying to see something really, really small, something like a parasite or a virus, and you want to see it inside a live organism. The way to do it is to switch off the lights and to make something light up. So fluorescent proteins are what make parasites, viruses, proteins light up. I'm a computational chemist. I use computers to try and calculate why do these proteins give off light and why do they give off a certain color? What can we change to make them brighter? You can imagine if you wanted to see what's happening inside an organism, you want it to be really, really bright. And then we can see where they move in a cell, when they're made, when they're destroyed. Now we can see things we could never see before. I teach a class called Illuminating Diseases. It was actually developed when I taught in Semester at Sea, which is a ship that goes around the world. For every port, I taught about a disease that was fairly common in that country and how you could use fluorescent proteins to study the diseases. Since I've been here, I've had about 80 students work with me. We've published about 60 papers. For the students, having a paper at an undergrad stage of their life is really important. It helps them get into med school and things like that. Being able to learn and work for people like Mark, who is published, he's written two books now, is very inspiring for me. He's the type of person that gets to know you personally. In terms of like getting a research opportunity on campus, you can just go to him and say, like, I really want to work with this professor, but I don't know how to start the conversation. And he can help you start that conversation. Mark really cares about all of his science leaders. Keeping my interests in mind, he's always sending opportunities my way. The science leaders program and the research here at the college has prepared me to get involved in a variety of research projects, no matter what they are and they've shaped me into the kind of person that is able to walk into you know, a research lab in the future. So I like to involve students in my research. The students can learn how to do research, can see what's happening in a lab, and work together. 